In today's video tutorial, I would like to explore the process of creating this kind of scene for modern financial products. The main source of inspiration for this scene was the work, or perhaps I should say, the R&D process of Monlich Studios and their amazing collection of works on Behance, which I highly recommend everyone checks out and gives a thumbs up. And maybe leave some comments, as the work is truly top-notch and allows you to learn many new techniques. Meanwhile, let's move on, on to the scene creation process. And of course, we need to start by creating a debit card shape, which will influence with various modifiers. We will create the card from a spline. Firstly, let's create a rectangle, set the dimensions, and then apply an extrusion. I use specific methods of creating extrusion with two modifiers, not just one extrude. So I put zero to extrude and then applies thicken modifier to be sure that the anchor point of this setup is in the very center of the object. Then let's apply the remesh to create a dense polygon mesh on the object and then put it into connect. After that, let's use the vertex map on the remesh and create a field, a spherical field that will be a source for our wave effect. I will disable the connect for now just to visualize the vertex map influence on this geometry. Let's put our source field into the corner of the debit card and then add the formula field. An important note is to disabling the remapping on the source field. We don't need this. Then the influencing formula field affects our geometry the way we need. Next, let's create the masking field. Name it as mask1, also source1, it will be handy just to keep it organized. Increase the size of the mask fields and in the remap tab let's give it sharper edge. Also may modify curves to specify the edges thickness. Next, we add a displacer. Select the planner direction, shading color, and in the fields parameter, we place our vertex map. And when we enable the connect, we may see that our object changes and deforms according to the field we created. And this is the effect that we were looking for. I highly recommend experimenting with different values and formulas in the formula field, but specifically in this example you can leave the formula field values as a default. One more interesting aspect of working with fields is that when the geometric parameters of the field are changed, the entire subsequence structure are also changing. Therefore, if we change the size of our source field, the shape of the formula will also change. In the frequency parameter, you can also change the frequency and the number of waves also will change. In my case, I will put 0.75 and get the desired result. Of 
Now let's move this setup to the other corner of the debit card. To do this we will create another vertex map and rename the original as vertex map 1. Let's call the second one as this vertex map 2. Naming is really important in the scenes because the names are used in the materials, in the vertex maps and in general. It's a good habit to name individual objects differently, so the editor of Cinema 4D isn't tempted to substitute the same objects. And simplify for your own understanding of the projects and readability. It will be very handy for you or your colleagues who will work with these projects later. In principle, the repetition process is identical. We create the fields and simply move the parameters to the other corner. After we achieved the main effect on our credit card, let's proceed to the creation of the sites object of the scene. Namely, the spherical drops that spread out in the waves from the corner of the card. These objects will be created from the simple spheres, but to be sure that their type is tetrahedron, so that the mesh is uniformed. After placing the spheres in the position we want, let's add the formula effector. Today's lesson is literally dedicated to the effect of working with formulas. Let's increase the formula periodicity several times, in my case it will be 6. Also decrease the height to 150. Change the size depending on your scene size or as you wish, it doesn't matter actually. Note that it's possible to rotate both the formula effector itself and the object that the effector influences. However, when rotating the effector, the anchor point will not be preserved. Therefore, I highly recommend you to rotate not the formula effector, but the object. Next, we will go to the field section and create a spherical field that limits the influence of the formula deformer. You may create a separate fields that will mask the center area or the area from which our waves will originate because the effect that appears in the center is not really enjoyable or interesting, interesting or visually pleasing. So the central area can be smoothed out a bit or simply erased from the effect. Finally, we can copy our object and move it to the bottom left corner. Thus, we have added all the objects to our scene. This is the main geometry. Today's lesson would be definitely incomplete if we didn't talk about the shading of this scene. We will 
go it briefly. I won't dive too much on every detail. We will just review the main key effects that we have been used for creating the materials and lighting in this scene. First of all, I applied smoothing at the render level to all the effects using Redshift Object Tech. I prefer this method of smoothing over subdivision surface at the geometry level so as not to slow down the viewport and the scene calculation itself. The lighting in this composition was quite simple. It consists of one main light source as HDRI map, and one area light as a key light. I applied the HDRI map on the all objects, but subsequently excluded the central credit card from it and used another HDRI to illuminate it directly. I did it because I didn't want to get the reflections in the credit card from the HDRI. The main material applied to the credit card is car paint with flakes or with sparkles, I don't know. This material is very pleasing to the eye, very simple and highly customizable. For the spheres I applied a simple material with uh, zero roughness or really minimal roughness and uh, full transparency or transmission. For the background I prefer to create a separate plane and apply the material that contains nothing but a gradient. This technique is very convenient because it avoids unnecessary shadows and reflections and allows you to adjust the ramp very flexible in the shader itself. For better contrast in the scene I decided to exclude the background from the drops on the foreground, so wouldn't be displayed in the spheres. For this effect I used the Redshift Object Tech. For more complexity let's add the bank logo to the credit card using the vector import object. I had drawn the vector before in the illustrator. To create the edges, the sharp edges, use the caps and only one subdivision. The material is also simple, just metallic with roughness 0.35 and the light scheme for this object is also separate. A gradient can be added by using uh, lights with, with a very low spread as a drawing color. This way we can highlight the edges of the credit card and the logo and get interesting shifts, flares and visual story. The final element of today's lesson will be creation of the chip of this credit card. We will also add it using a splines and subtracting it from our geometry. We may do this because we have maintained the procedural nature of our card creation. We can work directly at the spline level, which allows us to modify it even after applying all the materials and all the other effects like deformers and formulas. We add some kind of cuts and then using splines and booleans geometry. Simply cut one splines out of the other 
and creating the necessary pattern. And then place it into the extrude and then into the thicken modifier as we did in the very beginning of this lesson. Also apply the metallic material on it, but with slightly higher roughness and some bump map. And I think this is it. I hope you learned something useful from today's lesson for yourself. And I would appreciate any kind of feedback, so feel free to leave some comments, likes or dislikes. And see you soon!